Hey, <laughs> as you may know, I'm from the South. No way. No way, Madison. You? No. It's true. Cut the cameras. And we have lots of snacks. Some weird, funky, fresh snacks. Some snacks I love. Some snacks I absolutely hate. And we'll try them all today. So this is Southerner trying Southern snacks. All of these were either started in the South or like just became popular in the South. A lot of snacks I thought were Southern just because I had had them a lot when I was a kid and I was like, this seems Southern, but it wasn't. Like I was like Arnella Wafers Southern and then I looked it up and it's from like France and I was like, never mind. I, I think I just wanted some Nilla Wafers. I don't want the camera to fall. So first I went to Cracker Barrel. <clears throat> Cracker Barrel, if you don't know, you walk in and there's a huge store. Uh, they have toys, clothes, snacks, candy, decor. It's the size of a Hallmark. So first we have peanut brittle, hand pulled. I don't know if her hands touched it. The lady working there was like, ooh, we sell a lot of this peanut brittle. And I'm like, yeah, it looks good. That's why my old-fashioned country candies. I never considered this candy, but, like, it is candy. I just considered it, like, a snack. Keep in an airtight jar and surprise your family or guests with a delicious treat. A taste of home, Mark Kitchen to yours. Did I just rip the wrong? I wasn't even supposed to rip that off. So, what? How would you describe peanut brittle? All the ingredients: sugar, corn syrup, peanuts, water, butter, bicarbonate soda, salt. And that's it. Ooh, it was like a puff of <laughs> brittle air. This is like all broken up. I wanted to show you like a big piece, but. It's like hard with peanuts in it. Mmm. I know I'm gonna have to brush my teeth after this. It feels wrong. <coughs> like it's so hard, it feels wrong to be crunching down on it. But like, if you let it sit in your mouth, it doesn't feel right either. And it's just cemented to my teeth. So, you know, like the stereotype, like toothless southern people, it's because of peanut brittle. All right, so next, we'll get something a little bit savory. Cheese straws, the indispensable southern staple. Mississippi cheese straw factory. So cheese straws. I don't know how I feel about cheese straws. You usually get will get these at like some type of function where they have like snacks laid out on a table. I don't know how to explain any of these foods. Take cheese. When mom decided to apply her culinary There's a guy that apparently had something to do with cheese, cheese straws. So we appreciate him. It looks like it was squeezed out of one of those Play-Doh things where you like squeeze the Play-Doh through and it like comes through. So this is what it looks like. It's... Mmm! These are good ones. Well... Ooh! That's some sharp cheddar. This is a lot better than the ones I've had. But the other ones like fall apart. They're just like... I really don't want to finish it though. <laughs> So the next thing I got were moon pies. Let's fly, let's fly away. Um, I've tried moon pies before, but I tried the banana kind, but these are like the original like good chocolate kind. So basically it's like two pieces of like breadish soft, soft cookie with marshmallow in the middle and then covered in chocolate. I know I like this. Why did I buy these? 
The next thing is Fugu Clusters. One bar is 220 calories. Why is everything so old? It's like since 1912. America's first ever combination candy bar was born. Oh, I didn't know it was like the first. That's awesome. These are big. 65 milligrams of sodium. I don't know if that's a lot. I need to like not look at it. What's the point in looking at it? There's no fun in looking at the nutrition facts. I always just look at it and I'm like, wow, this has 29 grams of carbohydrates. Oh, oh. We like stuff that has peanuts in it. Oh, it's not party, but it's good. Oh, chewy. It's good, but it's not waste 220 calories good. I got a Nutribullet and I'm like, think I'm a new woman. So that was all I got from Cracker Barrel. So next we have pimento cheese. I usually have homemade pimento cheese. My mom makes the best. This does not look like the homemade. No, sis. I'm gonna get a plate now. What I always do with pimento cheese is put it on saltine crackers. I think some people make sandwiches with it. I really don't vibe with that. It tastes a lot different than homemade. It's okay. Is this tomatoes? It's okay. So, I don't want to try this. Okay, so the next thing is pickled asparagus. I've never had this. Crisp and delicious. I found these because I tried to look for pickled eggs. I don't know why I thought the store would be selling pickled eggs. I used to love pickled eggs. You like to pickle stuff, I guess. Let's pull one out. <laughs> Hold on. This is good. See, anything pickled is better. Me, like, hates on the pimento cheese, but likes this. Don't take my advice on if you get any of this stuff. I love a pickle. So this is Zaps Chips. Obviously from New Orleans, because it has little voodoo dolls on it. Like, sick packaging, bro. They're kettle chips, and they have, like, a specific flavor. Why does it say Pennsylvania? Hello? What flavor would I say this is? Like, mm -hmm. Kind of like a vinegar, but there's also a sweetness. If you like a little bit of zest, but like a little bit of sweetness, like me, <laughs> I got a little bit of zest. These are the Sweet Heat Barbecue Chips. Birmingham, Alabama. I usually don't buy these, I usually get Lay's. Sorry. Okay. Mm-hmm. The hot. I think this is like sugar and salt on top of it. You see those? You see how much stuff is on there? These are good. Can't take the heat. Get out the kitchen. I can't take the heat, so I gotta get out of the kitchen so I don't have to cook. So the next thing is pork rinds from the same brand. Chicharrones. Louisiana hot sauce flavored. I like pork rinds, but not the hot sauce flavor. The barbecue flavor. That's where's I oh, but I thought that wouldn't be fun enough. God, it just smells like that hot sauce. Fried pork skin. That's hot. Okay, but like, that's hot. No wonder I never ate those. <laughs> you may think this is the same thing, but no. Pork crackling strips. If you've never had pork rinds, let me tell you. My favorite part of pork rinds is like the texture. It's like crunchy, but not too crunchy. A lot of the time, you'll get some spots that are like really hard and it's nasty I have to spit it out this is basically that but just a whole bag of it these look they look like octopus legs <laughs> no absolutely not 
Was that my tooth or this? So I just have a couple things left. But these are fun. I saved the best for last. Alright, so we're going back to dessert for a second. We're going to try our Bluebell ice cream. And this is actually the original cookies and cream. Bluebell invented cookies and cream. Can you even? It says we were the first to create this innovative flavor. They actually changed the course of history. There was a recall on Bluebell for some reason for a while. And that kind of like scared people away from it. But it's alright now. It melted in the car yesterday. But that's alright. Yes. Like they invented this. Shark Tank could never. Little cows. You see little udders. I know y'all don't want to see that. All right, so the next thing, RC Cola. I never really drink RC Cola. I don't know if this is shaking. Look at my reflection. Who is that girl I see staring, staring, staring? I feel like I'm making that face. So it's basically cola. Look how bubbly that is. Is that normal? Yeah. I mean, it tastes like Coke, so. Hey, Siri, where is RC Cola from? The answer I found is United States of America. Okay, well, thank you. We know that. The last thing is definitely the weirdest thing. Take a glass, Coke, and peanuts. Now, don't click off. Don't click off. It was like The Bachelor last night. Why did I smell it? You'll take the Coke and believe it or not, Ripley's. You will pour the peanuts into the Coke. And drink it. This is disgusting. <laughs> Like, I get the salty and sweet. Like, I will not hesitate to dip french fries into a F Wendy's Frosty. But this, you want a savory drink? Okay, go off. <music> Give this video a big thumbs oi. Give it a thumbs oi. Uh, I saw so. Um, I need to go.